Well, hello, Graham here again. Um, today's video is going to be about solar power uh, for our off-grid cabin up here in uh, Puget Sound, uh, Hood Canal area. As you can see, there's the cabin. Alright, here we have a couple sets of Harbor Freight solar panels. Made in China, of course. Um, not too bad, though. They've lasted a couple years. Um, 15 watts a panel, uh, 45 watts for three panels. I've got a total of 90, 90 watts here. Each uh, three panel set you can get on sale anywhere 150 to a couple hundred dollars at Harbor Freight. So basically the output of these solar cells comes into my battery box. I've got a couple of uh, Trojan, um, I think they're called T105s. Uh, six volt batteries. I got them in series for 12 volts, and I've also got a uh, Sunforce 30 amp charge controller. What this charge controller does is the output of the solar panels is probably around I don't know 17, 18 volts on a sunny day, and you can't put that kind of voltage into a battery or you'll ruin it. So this charge controller converts it down to a little over 13 volts so that you can charge the batteries. Um, not a great little unit. Uh, it does seem to work. It's putting out the right voltage, but none of the lights and the LEDs on the front that are supposed to work work, so I'll be upgrading this pretty soon. Alright, and here we have our little uh, electric control room um, inside the cabin. If you notice, I've got a 400 watt um, inverter. This is basically for either running uh, the battery packs for my rechargeable batteries or I also have an outlet outside here that I connect in um, my laptop so that I can so that we can watch movies. Can't get wireless up here but that's fine. Um, these uh, fluorescent lights come with the Harbor Freight packages. They, they seem to work okay. Not great but uh, anyway. Right here we've got a distribution box which is basically from, is a, uh, supposed to go in a boat, so there's fuses in there. Um, so from there I can dis distribute the electricity to the rest of the cabin, like lights and stuff. Here I have a cheap Harbor Freight voltmeter, so I can just turn it on and see what's happening right now. It looks like the solar panels are putting out, uh, the charge controller is putting out 12.9 volts, so it is charging the battery. It's kind of overcast today, so not not a whole lot of power. And uh, that's about it. Oh, I guess I can show you the lights in the cabin. I have uh, these are basically RV fluorescent lights. I've got one over the stove, and this one's over the sink. They put out quite a bit of bit of light, and they're only about uh, they only draw about 1.2 amps, 1.3 amps. So you could run for days on on the batteries with. These. All right, coming up to our master bedroom. Um, here we've got a light over the bed um, that works really good at nighttime. You can see the view out from our. We're on the second floor of the cabin. All right, forgot to mention our uh, the solar panels and the batteries also run our water pump. You can see our rain collection system here. I'll go into more detail of that in the next next video. Down here, I've got a little uh, pump box that I made, and you can see there's a switch in the upper left-hand corner. That's basically power to the the pump. Um, it's a flow jet. Self-priming, doesn't need a tank, uh, works pretty good, puts out about 38 pounds of pressure. Uh, draws about 7 amps though when it's running, but we only run it when we're using the sink or the shower, so it uh, doesn't drain the batteries too much. Alright, that's it for now.